Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I haven't made one in a while. I've just been busy uh, with campus and stuff. I'm almost done my degree. I just got six more months to go and then I'm done. Um, but I'm gonna try and make as many tutorials as I possibly can in my December holidays and release them throughout January, February as well. So uh, just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm hoping to make a lot more videos uh, really soon. So in today's uh, tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make this really cool shutdown app. Now in my version, I got shutdown, restart, log off, and cancel. Now the cancel button is just there to cancel any of your actions. So if you mistakenly click, well not mistakenly, if you click on shutdown and realize that, hey, uh, I still got 10 more minutes to work on my project, uh, I don't actually wanna shut down right now, you can click on the cancel button and it's gonna cancel that action. So uh, that's what the cancel button is there for. If you guys don't want it, you don't need it, I included it there anyways, just to show you that you can actually uh, cancel a shutdown action when using the command prompt. So in my version, I'm gonna make mine cross-platform. Uh, it's gonna work on Linux, Mac, and Windows. Now, we're gonna be using the command prompt to, to handle all the actions, uh, because Java, I don't think, has direct access to all that low-level stuff, like shutting down and stuff. You have to go through the command prompt. So we're gonna be, uh, basically be using the runtime, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Now, the first thing that we need to do is on the launch of the um, of the widget. In my case, it's a widget. It can be embedded into one of your existing programs. It can be whatever it may be. I basically just took my quick launch widget, which is available on my website. Uh, link is in the description. Uh, I just basically took it and I just changed a few icons. That's literally all I did. So it's essentially the same program, just a different function. So yeah, the first thing we wanna do is when your program launches, it's gonna run whatever's in the uh, constructor. So whatever is in this bit of code right here, this is the constructor. You can see it's called public widget UI. You know it's a constructor when your class name and the method is the same. So that's called, uh, that, that is a constructor and it's gonna run as soon as your program runs. So after init components, uh, we are basically gonna detect what operating system you guys are actually using. Okay, so before we get typing into the actual um, constructor, I'm just gonna make a string. So I'm just going to create a public string. Um, oh, I can't really see my keyboard guys. Public string. And I'm just going to call mine OS. Okay. Oh, capital S. Public string OS. And you can make it equal to a blank string. And I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to make it equal to a blank string. Now in our uh, constructor, when our program launches, we are going to detect what operating system it is and store it in the OS variable. So in order to do that, we're just going to say OS is equal to uh, system dot get property and we are gonna get the OS name so I think it's that OS dot name just like that guys okay so all this line of code is gonna do is basically gonna get the get a property and the property we're gonna fetch is the operating system name and we're gonna store that name into the OS uh, into the OS variable so if you guys want to see all you guys gotta do is type in s out tab and you guys can just type in OS and you guys will see what operating system I'm using if it's not already obvious you guys can see I am using Windows 10 okay guys so basically the logic behind this is to create a few if statements to detect if you're using Windows Mac or Linux now it's really easy to determine uh, what we're using with the OS.name uh, property or method uh, you can see we've got Windows 10 but people can be using Windows 8 Windows 7 Vista same goes with Mac Snow Leopard Leopard, Yosemite, I don't know what they use, Linux Mint, Linux Ubuntu, etc. So you guys can see that there's many different types of, or many different versions of the same operating system, but they all have either Windows, Linux, or Mac in the name. However, we can't just say if the OS name is equal to Windows, then execute this command, because we need to check for Windows 10. Now we can't go through every single version of Windows, because there's too many, same with Mac, same with Linux. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna check if our OS name contains the word Windows, Mac, or Linux. And if it does, then we know that we are in, you know, we are in the Windows, Mac, or Linux operating system. So before we continue, I'm just gonna create a string variable, and you guys will see what it's used for later. I'm just gonna call this command exec, and this is just basically gonna store the command that wants, that's gonna be executed. Okay, now we're gonna create an if statement, just one for now. And I'm going to check if os.contains and then a string. So I'm gonna check if it contains the word Windows. And I'm just gonna print out the word hi, if it does. So I'm gonna run this, click on this, and you guys can see that it actually prints out the word hi, which means that it's detecting the word Windows in our operating system name. 
Now, what we have to do now is create a few else if statements and do it for Mac and for Linux. Okay guys, and lastly, we're just gonna create else and we're gonna system it out to print LN, or you can do a J option by N. For me, I'm just gonna do system it out. I'm gonna say OS not supported yet. Okay. Now all we have to do is create a little bit of code in here and then yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so when you're using Windows, the command exec is basically the command that's gonna be executed. So I'm gonna type in command exec is equal to whatever. Now for shutting down, I actually downloaded a little page here. Okay, so this is a website that I pulled up. I'll just put a link in the description. I'll just copy this quickly and put it in the description. Um, we got shutdown dash R S L um, shutdown dash T and then it tells you uh, the number of seconds to wait until shutdown. Okay, which is very important guys because uh, I'm going to be using that. So basically in my source code, I'm just going to type in command exec is equal to shutdown dash S which basically means shut down regularly. And I'm gonna say dash T, and then I'm gonna say, uh, let's go with 120. And the time is in uh, seconds, by the way, guys. Uh, I think it says it here, yep, number of seconds. So basically what this command says is shut down, uh, which is just the basic word, and then dash S means shut down like normal. Dash T means within this time. So within at 120 seconds, which is two minutes, uh, that's when it's gonna shut down. So it's gonna give you two minutes, to save your work to do whatever you want you can set this to be one second uh, if you delete the word t it'll do it like instantly um, i'm just gonna set it to 120 seconds so you guys can see how it actually works okay now we're gonna come back and do it for linux and mac in just a second so once we get all the way to the uh, after the l statement we are basically going to execute the uh, command exec okay so we're basically going to use a runtime to do that uh the runtime by the way guys uses a try and catch so Make sure you have try catch. And it's gonna be IO exception. I'm not gonna print out any errors. If you guys uh, want to, you guys can do that. Add the import for IO exception. And I'll be simply just gonna uh, type out the code to, to execute the CMD. To do that, it's just gonna be runtime dot get runtime dot execute. Um, open close brackets. And then in these brackets, we're going to type out uh, command exec. And that should actually be all that we need to shut down our PC. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm just going to run CMD. I'm going to type in shutdown slash A, okay? I'm just going to leave that hanging around. I'm going to run the program and I'm going to click on the shutdown button. And you guys can see Windows will shut down in two minutes. Shutdown will start on this time right here, 106.27. You guys can see it's 104 at the moment. So in order to cancel my shutdown, that's my code right there. My shutdown has been canceled, hopefully, because um, I would suck to restart the whole video. But that's how simple it is to shut down your PC. Now we also have some for Mac and for Linux. Um, so to shut down in Linux and Mac, I'm just gonna cover this for Linux and Mac and for the rest, you guys can Google the commands for it. So basically guys, it's the same thing uh, just the code for it is a little bit different. Um, so I'm just going to remove whatever's in here. Okay, now uh, for Linux and Mac, it's basically shutdown dash H now, which means shutdown like right now. And for Mac, it's going to be the same thing. Now, what you guys will have to do, I was only able to find uh, the shutdown with my research for like 10 seconds uh, for Mac and Linux, but you guys can uh, just Google. I'll try to find the link and then attach the link for Linux and Mac, uh, just a list of all the stuff that you can do for Linux and Mac. And uh, basically that's it guys. That's all you have to do to shut down your PC. Um, now I'm gonna do for restart and then for log off as well. So once again, events, mouse, mouse released. And now once you're here guys, you know, uh, if you want to type out the whole thing and practice, that's fine. But guys, don't waste your time. Just copy this whole thing, paste it in, uh, not cancel, restart. Oh, where's my code? Right here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave these blank. I'm just gonna comment this out. I'm gonna leave it blank because I don't know what it is to do that right now. So once again, to shut down restart, it's basically to shut down dash R um, right here, which is gonna restart the PC. So if I run this and I click on the shutdown button, it just basically tells you Windows will shut down in two minutes. Shutdown will start on. It'll tell you the same thing, guys. Um, and I should actually open up CMD.
Yeah, it's basically going to tell you the same thing uh, because it all falls under the same thing. It's all shutting down. Technically, um, restart is shutting down. So that's how it works for that. If you guys want to, you can even type into CMD and test it out. But basically, that's going to uh, shut down in, well, restart in, in two minutes. Now, the same thing goes for log off. So I'm just going to do this really quickly. Now, once again, guys, shut down dash L. That's all it really takes. And pretty much, I'm fairly sure that for Linux and Mac, it's just going to be shut down dash L as well. I'm not too sure. Who knows? Uh, but you can see on Windows, we got Hibernate. And here's an important one, guys. Shut down dash A. You guys can see I created a cancel button. When I go to events, mouse, mouse release, you guys are just going to copy the whole thing again. And instead of shut, uh, shutting down your actual PC, we're just going to type in shutdown slash A, which is going to cancel your action, okay? Yeah, so when I if I want to shut down, it's going to tell me Windows will shut down in two minutes, okay, guys? So at 1, 10, 27. Now, all I have to do is click on this, uh, this cancel icon, which is basically going to execute shutdown slash A, uh, which is what you saw uh, a little bit earlier. Now, shutdown slash A and set, uh, shutdown dash A, is essentially going to do the same thing. I prefer to use uh, shutdown slash A just because uh, that's what I've been using uh, like my whole life to prevent uh, to prevent shutting down. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, finish up the video. I'm going to actually do a maybe a shutdown or a restart and you guys can actually see, see it happening uh, live. Okay guys, here we go. A 4K video restart. So I set it to shut down after five seconds. I do apologize for the audio. It's um, on my LG G3. And you guys can see right now, it is actually restarting my PC. And there we go guys. It's popping up onto my second screen and finishing up the restart. It can be done any second. Uh, there we go. And we'll pop up back on the screen. I don't know why it just does that. But anyways guys, that's it for the demo. And what's really cool is you can uh, set this up on a network and actually shut down your PC from your laptop, from your phone, from anything like that. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on that, please let me know. It's something really, really simple. I do it all the time, except not for the shutdown app. Um, so leave a like on the video if you want to see that. Leave a comment, leave any suggestions. Um, I need you guys to suggest videos so that I have ideas to come up with some new stuff. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment and favorite the video. Oh, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.